in different and difficult circumstances right now. People are losing their jobs. So we're trying to figure out how to come up with the money to pay for our bills, to pay for our rent. And that's why we have Vera Givens, who's Willow's personal finance analyst. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's tough times all around for people. It absolutely is. And so now here we are stuck at home, not being able to go anywhere. What can we do? How do we come up with this money that we need? So I say go into your closet and actually see what you can sell. And if you have the designer stuff, you can sell it on sites like Poshmark, They're Real Real, and just see how you can actually profit from what's actually in your closet. A lot of people are doing this and it's an easy way to make some fast cash. How about earning some cash? So we're gonna sell, but how about making some cash ourselves? A lot of the earning opportunities that we previously had at the bars, the restaurant, the hotels, and the tourism industry, those are pretty much gone, but people mm -hmm. are pivoting, finding opportunities, in logistics, in delivery, and then of course, online. So many op opportunities there in telemedicine, virtual assistance. If you have the online skills, this is your market. And I also hear, you know, for the teenagers that can drive all this, like you said, delivery, DoorDash, you know, they're trying to figure out how to make money as well, besides helping us around the house. It's funny because the kids are actually helping the adults with Zoom and Skype. They're really helping them get where they need to be in these times. <laughs> you know, we're all forced to learn these things and the kids are an asset on that front. Would you recommend getting a personal loan? That's certainly an option for a lot of people, but keep in mind that the best rates are going to be reserved for people who have the best credit. You could even walk into your bank or to your credit union and find out about getting a COVID relief loan because those are out there too, 0% interest for a certain period of time and we'll take it. How about tapping into a retirement account? Is that something that you would recommend? You know, it's funny, Sasha, because, you know, everybody says never touch the retirement account. Well, don't touch it because that money is meant to grow, to compound, it's meant to actually fund your retirement. However, because we are in these uncertain times, you can actually tap up to $100,000 penalty free. It's not the first thing you should tap, but it's an option for people who have money in there. Are there any absolutely no's that you would say, do not do that? Well, one definite no would be the payday loan. The reason they're a big no is because the APRs on these are like 300, 400%, sometimes in excess of that. Also a cash advance on the credit card would be another big no-no. I mean, we're talking 25% APR, if not higher than that. There, I'm sure you helped a lot of us out there to figure out, get our brains rolling, what we're good at, and make a new way of living in these uncertain times. Thank you so, so much for helping us out.